So let me sum it up in this way. It seems to me that the emerging church is, is emerging because people like no time in history are finding the ability to have a grateful foot in both camps. The tradition, the mother church, what has mothered me and led me up to now, along with a new consensus, a new support group that parallels, deepens, broadens, grounds, and personalizes this traditional message. But you don't throw out the traditional message. It's, it, this one becomes an accountability system for this one. And we realized we didn't have any accountability systems. So people just believed things <laughs> that were usually highly academic, highly doctrinaire and dogmatic, sometimes a few strong moral positions to prove they were moral people, but you didn't really sense a transformed consciousness. So this tells me that uh, the Holy Spirit is at work because this is a new kind of thinking that frankly, we just didn't have in history up to now. And it's telling us that we can't just keep building another life-saving station along the coast. <laughs> because in 20 years, it's going to need reform just as much as the Roman Catholic Church needed reform. <laughs> and so we're saying there's got to be a new kind of reformation. They don't, we don't react. We don't rebel. We don't hate anything. You can't start a spiritual reformation by hating things. <laughs> You're off on the wrong foot to begin with. You, you can't oppose. You have to be for something. And so the emerging church question is, what are you in love with? What have you fallen in love with? What do you believe in? Not, not who's going to hell, right? <laughs> but, but what is the heaven that I have discovered?